Hi everyone, Simon Keeling here. Just a quick 60 second weather score for you. Um, I've been posting today about the risk of uh, low level jet streams forming tomorrow morning. Now these low level jet streams uh, tend to occur during the spring and the autumn months. It's when we've had uh, fine warm sunny days and then uh, skies clear overnight and because of the increased length of uh, night time we can get temperatures to fall away quite quickly so we get cold nights. Now what that does is it leads to a cold air at the surface, warmer air above and quite a sharp inversion normally uh, temperatures will fall with height but in an inversion the temperature rises with height this is the situation this evening where we've got um, at the moment sorry where we've got high pressure centered across the uh, south of the country it's brought a fine it's brought a warm and sunny day but temperatures are going to be falling off quite quickly during the course of the night and in fact I can show you that by uh, just bringing up the charts here. Um, these are the uh, high resolution uh, charts from the Herland model and um, let's just knock it forward a little bit. There's the afternoon temperatures of 24, 25 degrees look across central and southern England. Now overnight tonight those temperatures drop out quite quickly so that by the morning we're down to 7 and 8 degrees. Now the effect of that is that it causes uh, quite a marked inversion to form and if we look at the weather online forecasts here this is the forecast skew t for cambridge um, and uh, this is for uh, 10 o'clock on this morning so this was 10 o'clock this morning notice how we've got a nice profile there look of temperatures falling with high yeah a bit of an inversion at uh, high levels now this is for uh, this evening so this is how things looked during this evening again quite a nice profile there but just notice what's happened look here at the surface starting to get an inversion developing in there and then let's just see what happens overnight this is the forecast for uh, the morning and you can see how that inversion has become far more marked look in the lower layers here and this is the signal for the possibility of low level jet streams forming and in fact that's even more pronounced look at London Heathrow where we've got a really very sharp inversion down at low levels and what happens here is that because of the temperature gradient we've got cold dense air at the surface less dense warmer air sat above we get a very strong temperature gradient so what that can do is increase the winds just above the surface to um, higher levels sometimes 20 25 even 30 knots have been reported in these low level jet conditions now they don't occur very widely so you don't get uh, wide bands of strong winds what you get is very narrow bands of wind in streaks over certain areas so you can get them over certain fields over other fields they won't be there but it's something just to be aware of that given situations like this with dry air a warm day a cold night following an inversion forecast to form these are exactly the conditions when these low level jet streams can get going they break down quite quickly once the temperatures start to rise during the mornings those uh, the inversion itself warms through it breaks down the gusts go although we can feel the gusts at the surface as the inversion breaks down and that turbulent air comes down to the surface we feel it at the surface before things then settle off as the temperatures increase so it's just something to be aware of these situations uh, such as the one that we've got in front of us at the moment with high pressure a fine warm and sunny day followed by a cold night still with dry air over the top of us these are the conditions that lead to these low level jets so hopefully that's been useful for you thanks again for watching bye for now